Hey guys, it's Trevor here from EMR Labs. Uh, here in the lab, we've tested many head-mounted displays over the years. We've got tons of them to work with, and we've spent a lot of time educating customers on the pros and cons of different displays. Unfortunately, it's really hard to get the feel of a display unless you can try it on, and that's not really something that most people can do at home. Uh, so we decided to create this video to demonstrate what it's like to look into some of the leading uh, HD displays, or actually uh, displays that have an HDMI input. And we'll discuss the pros and cons of the, the different displays while, while we do it. Okay, so how's this all going to work? Uh, we're going to use one of our new HD 3D cameras, the HD 3D Lite. And we'll actually put it into the video glasses so that you can see what it's like to wear the goggles. Uh, some of the points we'll discuss is the resolution, the field of view, and also the angular resolution. Now, angular resolution is becoming more important with the advent of super wide field of view video glasses such as the Oculus Rift or the OSVR, and it's good to understand what happens when you take a fixed resolution you make it a super wide field of view. You're going to start to see pixels. Now that's not to say that the experience is bad, it's a, it's a totally different experience, um, but some people may prefer like a smaller screen that's crisp, or other people want a more immersive wide field of view uh, that's more, uh, it's a kind of looks lower resolution, but it's the same resolution, it's just lower angular resolution. Anyways, we'll discuss this more in a little bit. Okay, uh, first let's discuss how we benchmark these glasses. For the quantitative analysis, we put a wide angle uh, lens on our camera and we use a custom made field of view uh, gauge to turn the camera into a measuring device. For this video, we'll start with some tried and true uh, fat chart glasses as a benchmark that many people know, and then we'll move to some of the more exotic HD displays. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, up first is the Dominator V3 glasses. These are great glasses that have uh, become more refined with every version. Uh, we got these glasses from NG Hobbies. Thank you, Zoltan. Uh, if you want a solid source for fat shark glasses, definitely see NG Hobbies. They've been the fat shark uh, uh, product uh, pusher uh, right from the beginning, uh, definitely be, uh, since before fat shark was the king of uh, video glasses. Uh, so they're a, a, a great resource. Um, so the Dominator V3 is uh, marketed as a 30 degree field of view uh, video glasses. Uh, we measured 31 degrees with our calibrated camera, so it's definitely in good agreement. Uh, the resolution is uh, 800 uh, by 480 pixels. Uh, so with some math magic, we get an angular resolution of 30 degrees, uh, sorry, 30 pixels per degree. Uh, and then, you know, wearing these glasses, you, you really can't see the, the, the individual pixels. Uh, it's just like a nice, clear uh, image. Uh, so here we go into the glasses. Again, uh, the Dominator V3. So if you've got these glasses or have experienced them, uh, this initial recording can kind of benchmark your experience for the, the ones that are, that are to, to come up. Uh, you get here, these glasses, a, a good, bright, clear image, a relatively small size, but nonetheless a decent pair of FPV goggles. We include the V3s in this video because it has an HDMI input and supports 3D mode, uh, so they can be used with the HD 3D Lite camera. Now we go to the Dominator HD V2. Now these are marketed with a, uh, as a 50 degree field of view. It certainly looks much larger than the Dominator V3. Uh, you can see clearly in this video that it is. Uh, but we've actually measured the, the, the field of view to be 45 degrees. Uh, still you get a bigger screen here, a higher resolution than the V3s, but you know also the difference is that this is a 4x3 screen instead of the uh, uh, widescreen uh, of the, of the uh, V3. Because the resolution is so close to the V3, uh, but there's the wider field of view, we get a smaller angular resolution of 22 pixels per degree. Still, you, you, you really can, uh, can't see the, the individual pixels here. Again, there's a good clear image, bright colors, uh, accepts HDMI with, uh, with 3D mode. Uh, the one downside of these glasses is that uh, uh, some versions on the HDMI input you can see some diagonal lines on the on the video, which is a little distracting. Uh, they're really subtle. Uh, they're definitely there. Um, you might be able to see it later on in the video when we do a kind of a narrower field of view. The next headset uh, we'll show you is the Vuzik Eyewear video headphones. Uh, these goggles are interesting in that they have a really cool build. The hardware is really well made. Uh, unfortunately, the video is pretty crappy as you'll see. Uh, this is the first true HD display we'll be showing, and it has a resolution of uh, 1280 by 720, which is, of course, uh, 720p. Uh, uh, it des definitely has a substantial field of view of 51.8 degrees, um, and the angular resolution is 28 degrees per uh, pixels per degree, and that's you know because it's an HD display. 
Uh, interestingly, the pixels are uh, easier to see on these glasses than on the Dominator HDs, and, and probably this because of uh, being some sort of DLP uh, type display. I'm not exactly sure what they use in it, but uh, uh, definitely you can see the, the pixels, uh, even though uh, it has a, a decent uh, 28 pixels per degree uh, angular resolution. Unfortunately, the colors are terribly washed out. It really does look, uh, you know, pretty much like this when you wear the glasses. Uh, also noticeable is, is there's dirt in the glasses, uh, you know, which is on the screen. Um, you you rarely see this in fat shark glasses. It was a real disappointment to see how much dirt was actually uh, in these glasses. Uh, it's a, it's a bad distraction, and it just you know, it it, it overall it it kind of shows poor poor workmanship, poor quality. Um, I wouldn't recommend these uh, video glasses to, to people. Hopefully, uh, you know, Vuzik kind of gets their act together and, and can make good on uh, future versions. But, you know, in the current uh, state of their art, uh, it's definitely uh, probably avoided. And you'll be able to see, uh, if we look at uh, a comparable glasses like the uh, Sony HMZ, the, the difference. So uh, here we go. The Sony HMZ video glasses up next. Um, these are great glasses. Uh, uh, but they do require some time to get adjusted to get the perfect in-focus uh, view across the field. Uh, so they're little, they have a lot of adjustments and you can get them tweaked in and then you get a perfect uh, uh, image. But like I said, um, everything has to be adjusted just right. But when they are, it's a pretty amazing uh, display. They're OLED uh, uh, panels. Uh, they have a 49 degree field of view uh, uh, in the glasses with the 30 pixels per degree, which is uh, you know, up there with the fat shark, uh, although it's a much wider uh, field of view. Um, they also have uh, beautifully bright colors and a crisp image, just like the Dominator glasses. Uh, because uh, they're 720p, they, uh, they work great with the HD 3D Lite camera. And I would say that most people uh, who buy the HD 3D Lite camera uh, tend to use the Sony HMZ. Uh, it's really like being there when you're, when you're flying uh, FPV. Uh, now, next up is the OSVR glasses sold by Razer. Uh, this model has been upgraded with our OSVR lens kit mod uh, to, to work with the HD3D camera. Uh, these glasses are intended for VR applications, uh, but they work great with uh, the HD3D Lite uh, doing 1080p. Uh, the field of view inside is huge, of course, at 87.5 degrees, and you can, you can definitely see that in the video. Uh, but because it's 1080p, the angular resolution uh, uh, is... 12.3 uh, pixels per degree, so it's higher resolution, but it's a huge field of view. Uh, and then at 12.3 pixels per degree, you definitely see pixels in the display. Um, in the video, you can see uh, some rolling diagonal lines, uh, which is you, you don't see that in real life. It's a, it's an artifact where uh, you know cycling between the camera and the and the glasses. Um, and the other thing you can see in the center of the uh, image is like this moiré pattern, uh, which is caused, it kind of looks like a checkerboard pattern in the center of the screen. And it's caused by the uh, alignment of the camera uh, pixels on the, the camera sensor and the pixels in the glasses. Uh, you don't see that in real life, but you definitely do uh, can see individual pixels if you, if you kind of look hard. Um, it's a bit of a trade-off here. The price you, it's the price you pay for real gut-wrenching immersion with a wide field of view is the fact that pixels are visible. Uh, you definitely get the dimension of flying uh, when you're wearing these that you don't get with uh, other types of uh, glasses. So in the second part of this video, we'll show the different glasses again uh, with a narrower lens uh, to give you an idea what it would look like when you're flying and kind of engrossed in the image rather than just you know sitting back looking at the full field of view. So, so that's up next. So first in the uh, in the review is the Dominator HD V2. I would say this display is characterized by popping colors and a flat field across the image. Definitely a quality set of video glasses. Next is the Vuzik Eyewear video headphones. Again, uh, this display is best characterized by washed out and bluish video screen. In this close-up, you can see the colors, but it's definitely not the best video quality that we've seen in this video of head-mounted displays. Next is the Sony HMZ T2. You can clearly see the popping colors in this video, a wide uh, HD field of view, and all around beautiful picture. Finally, again, the uh, OSVR. If you look carefully, you can see the pixels in the center of the screen. Uh, the colors are good in this OLED display, and the screen just kind of spills off the field of view uh, of the camera with these particular lenses on it. Definitely characteristic of the wide field of view available with this headset. 
Hopefully this video has given you a, a taste of what the different displays are like. Certainly we would be happy to answer any questions uh, you have regarding these displays with the uh, EMR Labs HD3D camera.